Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm back. The new proud American conservative. Yes, I got more important info. Not too many of you can stomach. Uh, before I uh, continue on, hold on a second. Check this out. Look at that. going to go get mail with my boy over here. He's been a handful this morning, so we're trying to get him... <laughs> <laughs> to get out a little bit yeah it takes a while to get to walk to the mail here exactly what I was hoping for when I was telling you guys I'm working on being self-sufficient uh, away from people uh, get away from the city yes I'm rocking my John Deere hat I'm loving it I uh, guess what this John Deere hat and I got a couple other ones are made in China you believe that I'm thinking I'm going to support some good farmers, you know, brands, American made, etc. But no, this hat is made in China. I just looked by accident. I saw it and it was it was really uh, weird to see that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what our politicians do. Republican, Democrats, it doesn't matter. Yes, President Trump is trying to negotiate with China. Um, nobody's even tried to do anything about it besides Bill Clinton putting them into the World Trade Agreement uh, back a couple of decades ago. But nonetheless, everybody looks the other way, while the middle class here continues to get slammed down, and the United States is just rotting away. But hopefully things will turn around at some point. I don't see it happening uh, anytime soon. I think this decade is going to be very hard, if not even longer, but at least... Uh, at least nine years from now, we're looking at 2030, right around there, where I believe things are going to start turning around. But for right now, I'm continuing to prepare. I'm going to get uh, my livestock here, my own garden, everything. Just working on it every single day. Got my chicken coop ready to go. Uh, my barn set up. I'm going to have a big, big gate right here. gonna call it Independence Arc because this is Independence County and just go from there look at all this I saw three Bambis this morning again just hanging out here not even running away as I passed by it was kind of surreal but yeah that's the plan I hope if anybody there has a chance to do something about it um, I believe you still have time to do so uh, don't get stuck in the city. The life that you knew before COVID, before oil sell-off, meaning petrodollar issues, all these uh, countries are, they're doing trades, they're doing all the transactions using dollar to get oil. So when you see petrodollar, when you see oil under pressure like it was back in April, mid-April, when uh, crude went to $38 in the negative, this is where everything changes. And then we already had COVID hysteria that started about a month before that. So life that you knew is now over. If you think in the city you're gonna be wearing your suits, you're gonna go out, you're gonna look pretty, you're gonna look handsome, you're gonna go out and, and hustle, yeah, if you are really in the upper echelon and you know what I'm talking about, you're still going to do well. But besides that, good luck. Uh, when it comes to social unrest, that's about to really get crazy. So I'm just letting you know, guys, um, based on experience, I've seen these stages, these phases where I lived, how it, it, it cancer just took over from stage one really, really uh, quickly to stage four. And this is where we are right now. So right now we are entering hospice territory when it comes to um, social unrest. And no matter who wins the election, it is going to get really bad. It's going to get a lot worse than uh, what you saw because neither party is going to accept the loss. So stack up on ammo. Second Amendment is obviously very important. Protect Second Amendment at all costs. Um, this is what I'm... Uh, I'm not telling you what to do but this is what is a must in in 
environment like this. Got to have your own food. Uh, got to have some gold and silver in case you got to get, get, get the hell out of Dodge in case the grid goes down and all this stuff. Um, I know it sounds really crazy, but it happened before to too many people. It, it, it will happen again. Okay. I didn't think when I was a teenager, we would have no water. I did not think I was have to wait for uh, UN, United Nations to come around and, and, and give me a chocolate bar and I'll be so happy to, to have one. I didn't think that. If you say, well, you lived probably in some third world country. No, I lived, yeah, it could be third world country, but I lived in the place where people from all over the world used to come in to visit. It was Dalmatian Coast, one of the most beautiful places in the world. It was actually voted on Entertainment Channel E about seven, eight years ago as number one spot to go visit for sightseeing, food, etc. Now, does it matter what E thinks? Uh, that's uh, your own opinion, but I'm just telling you, being all over the world, basically, I've seen a lot and that area was beautiful. And to have no water, to, to wait in line, to have um, you know, a can of tuna fish or a chocolate bar from, from some soldier from France, I did not expect that as a teenager and it happened. So, you know, don't be complacent, continue preparing. People say, well, it's easy for you to say you, you've got your whatever 50 acres, 100 acres land. I can't do any of that. I can't even get an acre. Yes, you can. There are always ways to do stuff. Okay. This does not, none of this came easy to me. This was a lot of planning. This was so many moving parts. Selling one house um, at the top of the market, just around the top of the market, I believe, as the market is going to sell off. Try to get into a bigger house, which did not work out. Did not lose money, but lose, lost a lot of hair and, uh, and gained a lot of gray hair with this property. It was, a, it was a big boy. I was going to make a lot more money. It did not work out, but I used the profits of the first home, unloaded on some cars, decided to uh, save up, uh, not have any extra payments, uh, sell certain things that I really did not need and then go into uh, looking for land, looking and looking and looking and nothing really made sense. The properties I found, they had this, okay, they had this, but they did not have a house. It was just a barn, basically. So I was able to find a house too. It's 2,000 square feet. It's built in mid 90s nothing to brag about especially from someone like me coming in from las vegas yes i moved in between to st pete's area in florida but i lived in almost a 5,000 square foot home my shower just a shower was as big as the master bath here <laughs> and i don't care because this is all i want right here what i got in front of me around me behind me this is all that matters so there are always, like I said, ways to do something. You got that $20,000 car, you paid off $15,000 on it. Maybe you have a few grand sitting around to pay it off so you don't have payments. Or if you have a chance to sell it, maybe buy a $2,000 car and use that um, 15 grand or so for a down payment for some land. So again, there are ways to do stuff, okay? Uh, if you can't do any of that, maybe you can buy an ounce of silver for... $25, 30 bucks. Maybe you can buy a gram of gold so you're not only in the dollar, so you have uh, some kind of protection when it comes to your purchasing power, which is very important that I talk about all the time. So again, people cannot just, uh, whatever you, whatever your plan was a few months ago, now it's different. Okay, this is again what I believe everyone should be doing. You don't have to listen to me. You can continue living in, in the bubble. You can continue living in this uh, utopia. I'm going to go to the beach. I got a cute home. My kids are going to go to school here. No, you won't because Antifa is going to be right on the beach. There are videos already from St. Petersburg. Uh, BLM Antifa were coming down and harassing people. They were uh, eating out. They're going to go to the beach. Why? Because 90 plus, maybe 98% of beach goers are what? Upper middle class white people enjoying the beach. You think they're going to let them enjoy that? I doubt it. I hope I'm wrong. But the way this cancer has been spreading, I don't think I'm wrong. So, like I said, sit down today, have a cup of coffee and start brainstorming. Prayer always helps too. If you're atheist, 
you're going to find a way soon that you're going to have to pick a side because this is not just financial warfare this is spiritual warfare and guess what there is a saying that goes like this there are no atheists in foxholes meaning as you guys know when the bombs start going over your head people start praying and why not that's the stage we are entering when people start getting hungry when people start um, getting attacked uh, violently physically by these rioters etc you're going to start changing your tune and you better pick the right side god jesus always wins god bless you all take care and uh, we'll talk soon when it comes to uh, stock market i will post my video just based on my moves my entrances my exits and how i'm positioning myself for the upcoming week as this last week was not fun at all talk soon